This lesson is on equal shares of shapes. When we divide shapes into equal shares, we make each share the same size. Let's say you and a friend wanted to share this pizza. You would divide it right down the middle in half so each of you would get the same amount of pizza. You would each get an equal share. Now let's say that two more friends came. So you would divide it again into four equal shares. So each piece is the same. Now let's say you had eight friends. You could divide it again, and you can divide it again. Now we have eight pieces, and each piece is the same size. They're equal. So we can divide shapes into two equal shares. Here's a share here. Here's a share on the other side. We can divide shapes into three equal shares. There's one, there's another, and there's another. And we can divide shapes into four equal shares. One, two, three, four. Now with two equal shares, you have two pieces. And each piece is a half. So these are halves. Both of these shapes are cut in half. If I decided I wanted to color in one of the parts, I would have colored one half. And the way we write that as a fraction is one. That's the one piece we colored. Draw a line out of two. So that's one half of that circle is colored. Now with the rectangle, if we shade it in this one, and we shade it in this one, we shade it in two, draw our line, the bottom number is how many parts all together out of two, which is actually the same thing as one. Because if you see, we've colored the whole shape. So two halves is the same thing as one. Let's look at thirds. This is how we write thirds. These shapes are divided into three parts and we call them thirds. If we decided to color one part of this third, we would have colored one third. The number on top is the number colored, draw your line. The number on the bottom is the total amount of parts, which was three, that's one third. Let's color in this rectangle like we did the last one. All of the parts. So here we colored in three parts. So three is the amount we colored. Out of, your line right there means out of, three parts that were all together. Which as we talked about before was the same thing as one whole. That's equal to one. Let's look at four equal shares. These are divided into what we call fourths. If we decided to color one piece, we would have colored one fourth of that circle. One is the amount we colored. Your line means out of four total pieces. So that was one fourth. Now let's color in all of these pieces. We're going to color in four parts of the four pieces that it was divided into. So our four would go on the top. Out of, we colored four out of the four. It's the same thing as the whole rectangle, which is equal to one. That concludes our lesson today on equal shares.